Hi, this is Jerome Cambry with Vimed. I'm here today to show you uh, the Astral 150 and how to set this up for an invasive patient using a double limb setup. So the first thing that we want to do is we want to turn the machine over and we want to make sure that we have the proper insert. So you can see that this is a double limb insert. It's open, has two openings, two channels here, along with male ends here that are gonna fit in the grooves right there. So we wanna put the cover back on. Turn the vent back over. You wanna turn it on from the back. Okay, so the first thing that I need to do is I need to make sure that the unit recognizes that I'm gonna be using a dual limb circuit. So I need to unlock it. You'll see there's a lock button here. I'm gonna press and hold. I'm now gonna hit unlimited so that I can have as much time as I need to to work on this unit. So you'll notice here on your left, there's a button that says circuit. I'm gonna press that. Our circuit type says double circuit, which is what we're gonna be using. Uh, you can press the change button and you'll notice that depending upon what you have, you could use a single circuit, a single with leak, or a mouthpiece. But again, we want to use the double circuit. So now I need to do a learned circuit with this unit. So you'll see here, I'm gonna press start and then I'm just gonna follow the prompts. So, turn off oxygen, disconnect the circuit from the ventilator. We don't have oxygen hooked up and our circuit is not connected. I'm gonna press continue. Again, following the prompts, I'm now going to connect my inspiratory and expiratory limbs. ensuring that I'm disconnected at the Y. Press continue. So now I want to block the end of the circuit, like so. Press continue. Okay, so you'll notice that we passed all of our tests. And so now, we're gonna press confirm, and we're gonna go into our menu and set up the mode of ventilation that we wanna use on this patient. Uh, again, we wanna do an invasive setup. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into my settings, and I'm gonna choose the mode of ventilation that I wanna use. So you can note, you'll see that we have both volume modes and pressure modes. So for this particular patient, we're gonna choose a pressure mode. And now I can set up my settings for this patient. So I am going to set a pressure control of 20, now you do that by using this up arrow. I'm gonna leave my peep at five. I'm gonna leave my respiratory rate at 12. For now, I'm gonna leave my eye time at one. And my safety tidal volume, I will leave off currently. Now, I wanna set up 
my patient, you can see we've got our dual limb circuit. We've got our HME. And we've got our trach adapter and our test lung. Now I'm gonna turn the vent on by applying the settings and then starting the vent. So you'll notice at the bottom of the screen, we have our patient values, our XL title volume. We're currently getting a title volume of close to 400. You'll notice that we're using a pressure of around 27 currently. Our XL minute volume is 4.6, our respiratory rate is 12. So, you know, in this mode, if I felt like I needed to get more volume, obviously I could go back and increase my pressure. We're going to increase it to And now we're getting tidal volumes closer to 500. So I'm satisfied with what I'm getting right now. But there are other modes that you can use on this unit, as you saw. You have a SIMV with pressure support. You have a true pressure support mode. You have CPAP and your volume modes are assist control as well as SIMV.